thanks for this wonderful evening and this insightful session i know we are falling short of time so i'll be try to be as quick as panther so <laughs> uh, just uh, i will start with my presentation there is a small video how we manufacture our steel products a small uh, video which will showcase the usp of our brand we also try to go economical because the agenda of this evening is the aesthetic versus economic economics so our i will try to make you understand how our product is economical for the customer because india is a uh, economics driven economical driven uh, market so here we, you can see we have a strong network we have 4000 dealers and uh, we have a team more than 50 70 and we try to cater the market pan india and uh, we have our uh, entire team over here we are uh, situated our regional office is in jaipur and uh, being led by mr himanshu misra and our distributor jaipurang steel is here also present with us so thanks for coming we have uh, also try to inculcate aatmanirbhar bharat because we have uh, participated in so many uh, repeated projects like uh, the gorakhpur express highways bogibil bridge and uh, so many metro corridors so these are few of the names only a lot of airports and railway station projects are also coming so we have also supplied on those projects this is a small overview uh, we are in the steel power and infra infra mining mining uh, segments not only in india as well as in abroad we do have our mines in australia and mozambique our manufacturing plant is mostly in the mineral rich belts of chatisgarh and odisha and jharkhand so we do have our 9.6 million ton capacity steel mill and uh, we are further expanding up to up to 12 metric ton and in coming years by 2030 we are planning to expand up to 30 million tons capacity so these are the some our product trends you can see we are in the rail actually you will see we are the only private manufacturer in the rail segment and we are the only manufacturer in india to produce head hardened rail which are for high speed metro and bullet trains we are in a structural products like parallel flange beams columns channels angles we also manufacture wire rods and of course that is our uh, widely uh, renowned product jindal panther tm3 bars by our consumers these are our flat products in plates uh, coils and some ready made materials like uh, fabricated structures or uh, speed floors we are uh, for the first time for the you know heavy uh, hmm products heavy earth moving vehicles we also manufacturer the track shoes in india this is the main gist to come here for the awareness you know in the market you will find a lot of brands with the name of jindal jindal 550 jindal sd jindal hd jindal ultra hd whatever you name jindal 550 so how to dis distinguish because there are lot of secondary products which are running in the market and in the name of jindal so to distinguish ourselves we have come with the name of brand jindal panther and we have also initiated so many campaigns in our newspapers and social media to differentiate how we we can different so you can uh, name few of the secondary brands in the 500d 550d jspl 500d so we want to say it was the perception in many of our clients that all these are the brand names under the name of jindal panther so i want to clarify our only and only brand is named jindal panther and we this time we have also had taken as hardik pandey as our brand ambassador we have also sponsored world cup ipl for uh, this brand awareness if you also want to identify uh, at the site you can identify with the name of this bis code which is bureau of indian standard gives a specific code where it manufactures so we do manufacture from our patratu 
that is comes with 580868 and from angul 520268 it is in orissa so this is uh, for the identification of the genuine jindal panther product uh, whatever the usp's strength stability and structural integrity as you have seen the video there you can see the better uh, bonding with the concrete and the better corrosion resistance because corrosion is the enemy of the tmt so we'll try to go a bit deeper how we are our product is manufactured and how it is different we are manufacturing from virgin iron ore we don't use recycle scrap because it has got lot of impurities and chemistry definitely hampers because uh, many of people think that tmt sariya yaar kuch nahi hai wo ek steel rod hi to hai but actually i would like to say there is a lot of science behind it if you see the upper surface the upper outer layer should give the strength and the st strength as well as ductility both are important so the inner core gives the ductility the flexibility so there is a proper combination jada strong bhi nahi hona chahiye otherwise brittle ho jayega aur agar jada ductile bhi nahi hona chahiye fir wo flexible ho jayega so there is a certain ratio which is governed by our uh, indian standard so how our products Uh, perform all those standards i will show you in further slides so we are from virgin iron ore hamara mines se hi we start our chemical refining yeah that's the table i was trying to refer what should be the carbon percentage what should be the carbon equivalent sulfur and phosphorus percentage so our product always try to maintain all those uh, parameters and uh, surpass the requirement of the indian standard one thing i'd like to just ek thoda sa 5 minute ke liye main दो मिनट के लिए बोलूंगा आई थिंक मेनी ऑफ यू हैव सीन द मूवी टाइटेनिक आप सभी ने टाइटेनिक मूवी देखी होगी आपको पता होगा वो टाइटेनिक में वो सिप जो डूब जाता है तो मेनी को सभी कुछ लोगों को लगता है यार इट वाज जस्ट लाइक अ एक्सीडेंट एक आइसबर्ग से कोलिजन हुआ और वो डूब गया डैमेज होके बट मैं यहाँ पे कहना चाहूँगा डेट वॉज नॉट ओनली द मेयर एक्सीडेंट इट वॉज अ ब्लेंडर विद द साइंस वो मेटोलॉजिकल ब्लेंडर हुआ था क्योंकि डैट टाइम द टेक्नोलॉजी वॉज नॉट डेट मच एडवांस दोज माइक्रो एलिमेंट्स आप अगर आप नेट पर सर्च करें गूगल करें वी विल फाइंड द सल्फर एंड फॉस्फरस परसेंटेज वॉज वे टू हाई एंड एट दैट लो टेम्परेचर दैट सल्फर एंड फॉस्फरस गेव द ब्रिटलनेस तो वो जैसे ही इम्पैक्ट हुआ वो टुकड़े में हो गया सो ऑल दोज कार्बन सल्फर फॉस्फरस दीज आर द की कंपोनेंट्स विच आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट विच आर नॉट कंट्रोल्ड इन द सेकेंडरी मार्केट secondary product brands because their mills are not that much automated because it should be computer controlled and try to the parameters should be all as per the design that is the steel manufacturing from secondary route actually aap dekhenge india mein mostly the jo small scale pe producers hote hai what they do they do they buy scrap they import scrap and दे रिसाइकल द इंडक्शन फर्नेस और उसके बाद वो डायरेक्ट इंडक्शन फर्नेस के बाद वो कास्टिंग कर देते हैं यहाँ पे कोई केमिस्ट्री कंट्रोल नहीं होती है केमिस्ट्री कंट्रोल के लिए आपको बिल्कुल फ्रॉम स्टार्टिंग आप ब्लास्ट फर्नेस या डी आर आई रूट जो बोलते हैं डायरेक्ट रिड्यूसिंग आयरन उस मेथड पर अगर आप जाएंगे तभी आप केमिस्ट्री कंट्रोल कर पाएंगे सो यू कैन सी मेनी ऑफ द लोकल मैन्युफैक्चर स्टार्ट विद दिस रूट ओनली एंड कंज्यूमर्स आर नॉट अवेयर बिकॉज वो इकोनॉमिकल होता है और वो दे ट्राई टू यूज ऑल सस्ता माल एंड बिकॉज आपको कुछ पैसे बच जाएंगे बट ये आपको लॉन्ग रन में वो आपको जंग खा जाएगी और वो आपकी बिल्डिंग जो है वो डैमेज होगी या दैट दिस इज द प्राइमरी रूट वेयर फ्रॉम आयरन ओर द आवर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आयरन ओर इट गोज थ्रू ब्लास्ट फोर्नेस वेयर इट इज मेल्टेड एट हॉट मेटल एंड देन वहाँ पर उसकी स्टील रिफाइनिंग होती है वहाँ पे उस पर कार्बन एंड सारे डिजॉल्व गैसेस को निकाला जाता है एंड देन वी उसको हम लोग कंटिन्यूस कास्टिंग करके बिलेट्स या ब्लूम्स बनाते हैं एंड वी फर्दर कास्ट इट टू टी एम टी बार्स टी एम टी बार्स कास्टिंग में जो होती है वो भी कंप्यूटराइज मिल में कैसे कंट्रोल होती है वो मैं आगे बताऊँगा ये कॉनकास्ट रूट से हम लोग वेरी लो लो लेवल ऑफ सल्फर एंड फॉस्फोरस इंश्योर करते हैं नाउ दिस इज यूनिफॉर्म माइक्रोस्ट्रक्चर आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट इफ यू सी देर आर टू लेयर्स यू कंसेंट्रिक सर्किल यू मस्ट बी सींग द यूनिफॉर्म मार्टेनिसाइट रिंग दैट इज गिवस अ स्ट्रेंथ एंड द इनर वन गिवस द डिटिलिटी सो बोथ प्रॉपर द सर्कल शुड बी दैट सेप शुड बी यूनिफॉर्म 
and in many of the less advanced meals it is not possible this uh, uts by ys ratio it is the parameter which is given by the our indian standard there is certain 1.08 is the stand, uh, value which we try to maintain this are our the uh, new brand uh, you can the new uh, you can say a segment crs corrosion resistant steel uh, which has a lot uh, additional copper nickel and chromium which gives additional protection from corrosion and th th this is my last point how it is economical as because you know there are a lot of grades 500 550 550d 600 what does it mean it means ki sir wo uski strength hai wo aap jaise jaise aap strength badhenge badhte jayenge you as you rise in the strength the rating the percentage in terms of requirement of steel number of bars will further drop down so it will definitely give you a uh, uh, saving in terms of a steel as well as it will also good for the concrete because it will give more space for to rods to get bonded with the concrete so as you see this is 415 grade how much it is this pillar is dense but the same if you use 550d the, there are more spacing which gives more a space to concrete to get bonded with the bars and uh, jindal panther is the uh, happy to announce that we are recently uh, certified with 50 mm we have the, it is the 50 mm dia tmt which are used mostly on infra projects and heavy uh, bridges and this is our few our esteemed customers no, many of are not in the list but we are uh, trying to cater as uh, far as possible pan india so this was all about from me thank you if they, if you have any query you can ask thank you so much